So let's say first the definition of sets is actually a number expressed in terms of root. So it must have this kind of um, notation or any root. This one is square root, right? Maybe you have a cube root and so on. Really, an irrational number. Okay, that's an important point there as well. So now let's see a little bit. What is it? So it must have this root notation together with the uh, characteristic that it must be an irrational number. Alright, so A is any real numbers and N is any positive integer because we wouldn't have a negative root of something. Huh? Alright, so... Uh, examples of sets would be set 2, set 5 because when you insert into your calculator these values, they wouldn't have the uh, decimal which is rational where it terminates or repeated with the same pattern. So that's why we call this as set. But then just crack your brain a bit. What happens if you have square root of 4? It's actually 2. And cube root of 27 is actually 3. And then fourth root of 1 over 16 is actually 1 over 2. Following with cube root of 125 is actually 5. So what do you think? Are these uh, examples of set or not? Okay. So please remember we actually define set as Okay, it has the root sign, but then it must be irrational. So now these numbers are rational. So you cannot say that these are sets. Okay, but from now on, we usually signify or call any number with this sign set up to just make things clear up for you guys. Okay, so properties of sets basically... Uh, there are three main important because they are kind of indices also. So whenever you have set of A and B, you can actually separate them out. The same goes if you have a fraction. So can be separated of the top and the bottom. So these two are the most important one. Okay, the following rules will be like the same rules as what we have mentioned from the first two huh? but then this is also important if you have two common sets you can actually just uh, take that as an summation a summation for unknown so let's say this one is x this one is also x so if you have 4x plus 7x that should be 11x okay so the same goes with this is actually equal to 11 so 2 so all right and then the same goes with minus. You can just minus them just like any regular unknowns. Uh, with, uh, numbers with variables, common variables. So now if you have 6 set 3 minus with 3 set 3. So they should be 3 set 3 altogether. Okay, as simple as that. So some more properties. If you have set A times by set A since they are actually a half times with a half remember our indices properties when you have the same base you should just plus them if they are being multiplied together so that's why here will be five lah the same goes with this if though you don't have a common set here but then they can actually be accumulated into the same set and then just like we mentioned before, we have that as two times. Okay. And then this is also important since you have common this same set A and same set B here. So therefore, if they are being multiplied together but with a, an opposite sign like this, so straight away it will be coming A minus B. Okay. So please explore this. Huh? So, just in case you have set 3 plus set 2 times by set 3 minus set 2. So, 
altogether that should be 3 minus 2 straight away okay and then just a small remark there set a plus b is not definitely not equal to set a plus set b yeah guys okay so now we want to try some example we have to simplify so what happened to set 18 is we can actually just times them in by the simplest perfect root that we have so 18 can be separated into 9 times 2 so that's why this 9 should be set 9 times by set 2 so that's why set 9 left with 3 but set 2 cannot be simplified any further and then that one is 3 set 7 straight away what happened to 5 set 3 and set 12 set 12 actually can be simplify into set 4 times 3 so as we agreed before we can actually separate them out so that's why we will be having 2 only so 3 set 3 at the end okay yeah? clear all right so what about example 5 here so example 5 consisted of a few more examples where you have to expand them one by one so now we have Two as the coefficient, yes. So three times so three, so that's why we have square that. And then so three times so two, straight away just follow through whatever you have, follow through also. And then because we don't have a common set of brackets here, right? So we have to expand them one by one. So now we should have two times three straight away. This one is set 6 this one is so set 6 but we have 1 in front of them do not forget so that's why we have 3 okay and then what happened here is we can cross them out lah we can simplify so that's why it's becoming 2 don't leave your answer like that accumulate whatever with without set so that should be 8 and then put the 1 with the set at the end of your expression there the same goes with the other question here okay but thankfully because we have both brackets with the same set of set which is this one three that one is also three and then the same goes with this so we can actually just straight away remember our composition it's actually three squared minus with set two square Okay, please remember it's always like this a plus b whenever times with a minus b the same thing here the same thing there so it would be straight away becoming a squared minus b squared okay yeah? so therefore without this also you can actually just assume it to be 9 minus with 2 because 2 being squared up that should be 2 only so your answer should be 7 so basically okay. we want to rationalize the de denominator but before that we have to understand the concept of conjugate not only complex number having conjugate set also have their own conjugate so let's let's say if you have set 3 here we need a conjugate set 3 uh, because we want to omit out the set sign basically the root sign that okay the same goes with set 3 plus 1 just have just take up uh, an opposite middle sign here so set 3 minus 1 the same goes with this set 2 minus 3 we have to uh, bear in mind our conjugate is set 2 plus 3 okay because when we times them together you can actually have this kind of expression here all right so let's see the usage of it so if i have 1 over set 5 i want to rationalize that because it won't be rational if they have irrational denominator as well as complex number denominator so rationalize basically needed and denominator is comprises denominator yang bawah lah eh fraction yang dekat bawah so denominator with complex number or set okay so now we have a case where set 5 
uh, as the denominator. So we need to rationalize that. So that's why we have to times by set 5. But, but basically, the set 5 is not there, right? We, so we have a routine of timing with 1. It's okay. So that's why we need to put set 5 also at the top of it. So just put set 5 at the top of it but then this one will be coming 5 altogether okay what happened if you have to set 3 so following whatever at the bottom so you have to times by set 3 over set 3 uh, we just ignore 2 in front of them but then you can actually just put 2 in front of them not a problem but then they will be omitted out anyway so now your answer is that one can it be uh, simplified any further the answer is yes because you can actually cross out three here okay and then what else we have two over set three minus one so the conjugate for set three minus one should be set three plus one so that's why we are timing with set three plus one at the top as well as at the bottom okay so now we have to expand one by one so it should be two set three plus two the same goes with this jangan fikir banyak straight away follow the a plus b min, uh, times by a minus b that should be three minus one so at the end your answer should be two set three plus two over two and then this one you can actually uh, factor out two so they can be omitted altogether you would be left by set three plus one lah all right so how about example seven here we need to uh separately times them first with their own conjugates okay and then simplify further you would have that one and then at the end you should have that Okay, so we might want to equate the denominator. Equate denominator. So this one have two times by two. So that's why we have two set two minus two there. And then at the end, our simplest form should be like this lah. Though you can actually just... Uh, put your answer like this it's okay so